What is going on guys, DBG here, and this was meant to be another episode of the No Money Spend series, but 2K has held, has basically held all of my new players hostage, for lack of a better word. Okay, I got Andrew Wiggins in. Okay, how long is this going to take? Am I just going to have to spam? Is that literally going to be it? Okay, so I'm going to give this... I'm going to give it five minutes. I'm going to give it five minutes and see if I have any ability to get all these cards. Okay, so this is just spamming now. On the PS4, I spent 25 minutes trying to redeem an auction and couldn't. So now I'm like 450k MT just stuck in my auction outcomes. Which is a little bit annoying, but... Sure, look, it is what it is. But yeah, these cards are all unreal though, these new diamonds. So it is four great new additions to the team, but ah, to be fair, like it has only been about a minute after. Okay, we got we got them. We got them in the end. That was nowhere near as long as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so this is my no money spend squad right here. I'm going to replace. I don't even know who to take out. I'm gonna take out Kawhi, put in Wiggins. I'm gonna take out Mobley, put in Fultz. Take out Drazen for. Aaron Gordon and run with this sort of a lineup here and then take out um, Bill Walton and put in Rick Smith. So yeah, this actually seems like a beast of a team. I'm gonna put LeBron to the bench as well. So we've got Andrew Wiggins at the three, Gordon at the four, Smith at the five, Hito at the two, Isaac at the one. Now at the bench we've got Porter at the one, Fultz at the two, LeBron at the three, Bagley at the four, Gasol at the five with Thon as like my fourth quarter game changer. So yeah, this team is actually really, really nice. I'm actually really happy with this. And we still have about 2000 MT to go. So yeah, this team, there's no reason why this team shouldn't be able to compete with every team we play. And if we do win this game, we aren't that far off going 12 and 0, we're 7-0. So our next episode, obviously, will be me trying to win five games in a row. So yeah, this is a good enough team. Now we're gonna actually go over the hot zones of these uh, new guys, then we're going to go on to the game very quickly because obviously I've only done a gameplay with Marco Fultz of all four of these. So Aaron Gordon hot zones almost everywhere. Release is actually quite nice. A little bit uh, long off the dribble. He's probably not going to be doing too much, but hey, look, it is what it is. I wish if he had 80 ball control, so not 80 ball control, if he had 86, he has 80, he would literally be a equivalent of like Galaxy Opal Blake. That's how good this card is. Dunking, well, obviously I'm just shooting now, but he is mainly a dunker. That is where Aaron Gordon's going to be best in pick and pop situations, pick and rolls. He's going to be a super, super player to run off the ball. Obviously, he's not going to be speed boosting much, but you don't need every single player to be great on the ball. So now let's just green one three. And now on to Rick Smiths. So Rick Smiths is a 7 foot 4 giant with hot zones everywhere inside the three-point line. Obviously, is going to be unbelievable around the basket with his, well, just height. Jump shot is actually quite nice for three he may actually hit a couple in the corner but i don't see him hitting too many like release definitely nice his rating though is like 40 so i don't see him hitting too many even though if you do give him limitless he can probably hit them from the corners but is going to be a money mid-range shooter got a nice post hook nice post fade away he's huge and is a great great defender now just green one midi Oh my god, how are none of these green? This doesn't make sense. This does not make sense that none of these are green. Now let's get on to Wiggins. So Andrew Wiggins, while his three-point shot is not absolutely incredible, it is quite decent. His release is also really nice in game. This is definitely this definitely feels like a different release to his amethyst though, but maybe it's just me. But Wiggins obviously is a fantastic dunker. He's got a 99 driving dunk. His speed with ball leaves a little bit to be desired, but again, he's got really high speed and acceleration. He's got um, A6 ball control, so he can speed boost. Going to be a really good dunker. And also going to be a fairly decent shooter if he is left wide open. So anyway, now it's just green one three. And I hate these, like, literally full whites. Now let's get on to Fultz for a few seconds. Then we're going to get on to the game. So Fultz, obviously, we've played a game with him already. We know how good this card is. Can shoot the lights out. Can dunk really well. Got really nice dribble moves. And really good finishing around the basket. Now let's just get green one three. And... Now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we are playing against 
All right, great team right here. Granger, Kevin Durant, LeBron, AD, and Artis Gilmore. Not saying it's a much better team than mine, because it isn't, but should be a good game. Ah, oh, colored courts. Why, why haven't they been stopped yet? Let's get into it. Pick a pop early. Get him a jumper for three. Aaron Gordon. Really? Missed that one? I hate color courts with a passion. They're one of my pet hates in this game. Color courts and white away jerseys. I think they are two of the worst things about this game. It's like, look, you can't even see parts of the halfway line. Hey, this guy legitimately could have made the entire court like unseeable for uh, in terms of the lines. Is he gone? I think he may have lagged out because he just didn't play defense there at all. No, he's decided not to play defense. Right into Gordon, easy dunk. Let's go. I should be all right here, I guess. Seeing the way this guy's playing, I think I'm gonna be fine. Like, look at that, it's another really bad shot. Even if that went in, that was still not, doesn't make it a good shot. These M shots can go in occasionally. Easy hook there for Rick Smith. All right, solid start to the game, six nil lead. Although six points is nothing in NBA 2K19. Good job, Wiggins. Go get it, Gordon. Should've got that. Steal. Jonathan Isaac. No, they're not catching up with him. Easy dunk there. I'm one. Let's go. We are playing. Like I'm not gonna say we're playing against a god squad. But we're playing what would have been considered a god squad a couple of weeks ago, and we are absolutely dominating right now with this no money spent team. All right, we've actually struggled the last couple of possessions. Like we haven't got. It's not like we've gotten even a shot off yet, because I don't think we have. We've gone two or three offenses without even taking a shot. They leave Gordon White over three, full white. If they're the type of shots I can't afford to miss, good block there. Good board by Rick Smith, though. Don't let him shoot it. I'll let him attack. I'll let him. There we go. Good defense, I think. Easy hook. Oh my god, it's an open hook, Smiths. Come on. I'm putting out the bench because my players cannot seem to score right now. That's a terrible shot. I've got Hito on the floor and I still can't score. Cleaner. Full white. There we go. Finally. Hito just being Hito right there. He's got a Hall of Fame Dimer. That's green. Let's go. Dive, 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 dive. Don't fall out of bounds. Good job. They left him wide open. It's full white. There we go. Leads now to 12. Wide open for two. Green. Good shot, Casal. Don't leave Granger open. He still is dangerous. Base 11 is not what he used to be. That's a terrible shot. That's fine. I'm fine. Fine with it. Don't complain. It's a terrible shot. If a bad shot goes in, it goes in. Okay, we went to this a little bit early. I didn't want. I wanted to save time until the fourth quarter, or at least the third. But we've had to go to it early since we just we're just playing badly. There's no other way to describe it. So it's now the Tom Maker show. Right to the basket. They're not guarding him. Easy dunk. Bagley. Right into Thon. Let's go. Okay, he switched off on Bagley. Switched off on LeBron. Put in LeBron. Easy dunk. Let's go. Playing hard off ball. You don't get anywhere playing hard off ball. And anyone who complains about off ball, there's a difference between baiting and hard off ball. Hard off ball by just standing there one player does not work against any competent player. Trust me, it doesn't. There is, you literally just hold L1 and you beat it. The only thing is with the starters, if he leaves them open, it is the likes of Hito hitting pull-up jumpers. And Hito is just too dangerous to do that. This squad's too... Like, if you're going to full-court press badly like this guy is, this squad's going to absolutely murder him. Laner. Good shot, Hito. Let's go. Plays back to 12. I'm pretty sure we had a 12-point lead in the first, very start of first in this game. Great defense, lads. Great defense. Great board there by Rick Smith. At Gordon. Wide open. Straight line to the basket. Jonathan Isaac misses the dunk. He drops right to Rick Smith, who shoots the hook and puts it in. Let's go. Wide open on the pop. Green. Gasol has now hit green two three pointers and green a midi. He has not yet hit a shot that hasn't been a green. Stop. Thon. Okay, that's open. 
Doesn't have Limitless though. Probably not a good shot to take. I don't want to start is for defense more so than anything. Because Rick Smith is very, very difficult to score on. This guy cannot seem to hit a three-point shot. So it looks like he is just shooting uh, twos. And that is probably a game winner right there for Thon. And he rage quit. That is literally a game winner. Okay, so anyway, that is the video. of the, From this squad, we've got some insane players. Like, Rick Smith is incredible on defense. He's just everywhere. One of the best defensive bigs in the game, without doubt. Obviously, I'd say Yao is a little bit better. But he's incredible. Like... He's got an unbelievable shot block. He's 7 for 4. Got a great shot as well. Great rebounding. Great speed. And also has 79 lateral acquaintance for a 7 4 player, which is unreal. Aaron Gordon, really solid dunker, solid shooter when he's wide open. Wiggins didn't do too much in that game, but again, can go to the basket quite well. Fultz again didn't do too much in that game. But again, like, it's not, there's no point running through all these guys. They are great, great additions to the No Money Spent squad. And I'm just looking at other cards in my collection. Like, I can now go and sell Reggie once the auction house obviously gets fixed, if it ever does. I can sell Reggie Lewis, Kawhi, Jordan, Drazen. Um, Drazen has a shoe on him as well. I can sell Knox, Bowen, Mobley, Eddie Jones. I can sell all these guys and get the guts of 60, 70K back, as well as completing a couple of moment challenges. I'll have around 100K. And then I can start investing in the likes of some of the pink diamonds, like Karolenko, like Danny Granger. I can get maybe an Opal if there's one or two cheap, good cheap Opals, like Oscar Robertson. So... To be completely honest, this stage in the game, there is no point spending any more money on 2K. I do it because of my job, and that is about it. And if that's the video, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.